Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week's topic arises from some phone calls that I've had this week on the benefits of synchronization of the estrus cycle and potential use of artificial insemination in breeding our beef cows. And so we talk about the pros and cons of some of this and some of the things that I would encourage producers to think through as we're getting pretty close to breeding season. And we'll kind of tackle this in two different parts. First one, what are the benefits of estrus synchronization? And some fundamental things we throw out. A beef cow has got a 21 day heat cycle. That means that once every three weeks, she comes into standing heat, is actually receptive to be mated, ovulates and potentially gets pregnant. If she doesn't get pregnant, it's three weeks again before she does that. Now, as we go into a typical beef breeding season, and we keep in mind things like, we wanna get as many cows bred early in the breeding season as possible. Then we have as many calves born early in the calving season as possible. We tighten up that calving season. We create uniformity in a calf crop at the time we wean them. If we got all our cows bred tightly, it does a lot to facilitate management. Cows that are gonna calve within a short time frame are easier to manage, feed alike, vaccinate, deworm, all of our herd health protocol is easier to manage if we've got a set of cows that calve in a really tight window. Now, estrus synchronization can help with that. We do a little bit of management and there's many different protocols we can follow as far as synchronizing the heats on cows, but we can bring a lot of cows into standing heat at a given time. We can concentrate our labor efforts if we're gonna be heat detecting during those times. And as a result of that, those cows, even if they don't breed off those first heats, will tend to stay in sync at subsequent heats as we go through breeding season. So. As we look at this at the onset and think about the potential management, most heat synchronization protocols are gonna require cows to go through a shoot one to three times prior to us catching them to potentially artificially inseminate. So we've got to think through pros and cons. Do we have the working facilities, a good shoot, a good alleyway to even make that possible? Do we have the manpower and the labor to actually work and sort these cows as needed and actually go through this process of all those times through the shoot in addition to the breeding. And because there's many different heat synchronization protocols out there, most all of them are gonna involve some prostaglandin F2 alpha, some gonadotropin, and some sort of progesterone. We hear a lot of people talk about cedars. Cedars are an implant that we actually put into the vagina of a cow that is a progesterone release. All those things can be used in some tandem to actually synchronize heats. So second thing to consider is, is this time and expense that we're gonna go through in synchronization gonna benefit us from a standpoint, have we identified an AI sire, secured our supply of semen, and have that on hand, knowing what traits are economically important to us relative to our marketing plan and our intended use of those calves, are we gonna offset this initial time and expense by superior genetics and capture the value of those genetics long-term? Third thing is we need to consider if we have a trained AI technician available to us. And going into a synchronization system, whether we're gonna do a timed AI, whether we're gonna be breeding cows in a cluster over multiple days after checking heat, we're gonna need availability of a trained AI technician that is on hand to breed those cows. Now, maybe that's us. Maybe we're gonna provide that service ourselves. but the actual heat detection and breeding season for whatever duration of time that that involves, we need to be able to devote ourselves or that AI technician to it at that particular point in time. Consider all those things, and I hope this helps and appreciate you joining us this week on Cow Calf Corner.